Dana, let's talk now about news we're getting on one specific hostage case this afternoon. This is a 10-month-old Israeli baby. Now, Hamas is claiming this afternoon that that baby, alongside their brother and mother, were killed in an Israeli bombardment. We, of course, can't confirm that at this stage. But what can you tell us from, from Jerusalem right now? Well, Hamas put out a statement a short while ago claiming that the Bibas family... Uh, this consists of uh, that 10-month-old uh, baby boy, Kfir, his four-year-old brother, Ariel, and his mother, Shira, uh, that the three of them had been killed in what uh, Hamas called uh, one of the Zionist bombing uh, campaigns. Now, uh, the IDF, the Israeli army, says it is uh, looking at those claims. Uh, it saw the notice. Uh, you know, it had been the presumption until this notice came out that the Bibas family was alive. Uh, the Israeli army itself, the Arabic uh, uh, spokesman for the army, put out a statement just a couple of days ago saying uh, the Bibas family, we believe they're being held by another terror group in Khan Yunis, which is the southern city, uh, another Hamas stronghold. Uh, so yeah, until now, it was believed that they uh, were alive. Uh, now, the background is that this family has become really the poster family for the pain and the grief and the anxiety over uh, the hostages. Uh, remember, Hamas filmed this mother uh, with a terrified look on her face, grabbing her two kids, uh, both of them little redheads, uh, and terrified and being dragged off into uh, a vehicle. So. This and and I can tell you this specific family, for example, there are uh, solidarity rallies where you know orange balloons are are let off into the sky, uh, you know, which are a symbol for this family because now after five rounds of hostages coming out, they are still not they have not been on those lists, uh, and we do not believe they're on the list tonight. So uh, you know the IDF is looking into these claims. Uh, and everyone is certainly praying that they are not true.